Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 75th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about typecasting. We're going to make a very simple C program and uh, through that we're going to understand what typecasting is and uh, how you can do it in a C program. So as you can see using code blocks I have saved a file. I've given it the name typecasting.c. On line 1 in this file I have the stdio.h error file. On line 2 I have declared the main function and then between the curly braces for the main function I have some code. So as you can see on line number 4 I have declared two integers and uh, they're called a and b and on line number 5 I have declared a float variable and I have given it the name c. On line 6 and 7 I have initialized a and b with values 10 and 3 respectively and then I have divided the value of a with the value of b and stored the result in c and then displayed its value on screen using the percent %f format specifier since c is a floating point variable and uh, that's why I've used the percent %f format specifier in the printf statement and uh, that's it that's what the program does and we haven't done typecasting in this program yet we're going to do that but before that I'm going to show you the output of this program first so as you can see in the output window the result of the division operation is 3.60 now that shouldn't be the case why because uh, a is 10 and B is 3 and uh, 3 times 3 is 9 right but the value of A is 10 so the result that we were expecting was 3.33 but what the compiler has done is it has performed integer division right so the compiler thought that okay fine we're dividing an integer by an integer so it has to generate integer result so that's why 10 was divided by 3 and the result was 3.333 but the uh, you know part after the decimal was uh, neglected by the compiler and just the value 3 was stored in C with a bunch of zeros after the decimal point right so typecasting is something that can help you avoid this right so if in this case if you want the float value or the correct value to be stored in C not the integer value with a bunch of zeros then all you have to do is type in the keyword float here between parentheses right so before you type in a divided by b you just type in the word float within parentheses and this will instruct the compiler that you want this division to be performed in a float way right so you want the floating point result of this division you don't want the integer result right so let me save the file and now when I would run the program you would see that in the output window we get the result of the division operation is 3.33333 right so this is what we were expecting and this is what we get so this was uh, not automatic type casting this is something that we've done so we forced the compiler to change its normal way of operation now the compiler sometimes automatically you know promotes uh, you know a value of a type that is lower in the hierarchy to a type that's higher in the hierarchy like if you're adding a character to an integer then the character is promoted to an integer value and then its value is added to the integer right so we're going to have a look at that uh, automatic integer promotion in the next tutorial maybe uh, for the time being this is all that I wanted to share with you guys and thank you so much for watching this tutorial I'm going to see you in the next one and please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already and take care